Prince Harry has adopted a completely different ball game since moving to the US as he focuses on efforts to become financially independent from the royal family, an expert claimed. Ken Wharf, Princess Diana's former protection officer, claimed Prince Harry's ball game is different as he is investing much more of his efforts in business. Mr. Wharf noted a significant change in the Duke of Sussex since his departure from the royal family in 2020 as he remarked on the great character he used to be as a child. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have struck a series of deals with media giants such as Netflix and Spotify in a bid to become financially independent from the royal family. Mr. Wharf said, Harry reached that moment in 2018 married Meghan Markle, a lady of mixed heritage divorcee in America. I thought this is the turning point for royalty and he was the most popular man on the planet, he was the king guy, and then suddenly this move to Canada, eventually now in California, suddenly he has become, I wouldn't say the most hated royal but his popularity has sunk and that's going to hurt him. So I do see a different side to Harry, I mean he is in a different ball game now, he's not carrying out his royal duties and with all the patronages he'd have and his military connections and the love that he had for the military. And now suddenly he's involving himself in in business interests on the other side of the Atlantic and so this is a different Harry altogether he's become part of a money making machine. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have set up almost 11 companies in Delaware from April 2020. The majority of the companies have been created to operate within the entertainment business. The Telegraph reported that the same lawyer is responsible for the registration of these new companies that are based out of Delaware and California. They are reported to have been incorporated by Meghan's attorney, Richard Genau, and her business manager, Andrew Meyer. The name of the companies are related the couple's childhood memories and intimate sentiments including a Japanese term for deal-making. One of them have been named after Megan's freckles translated into Spanish, Peca, the second one is a South American river, Orinoco, and the place where the couple took their first baby moon, Hampshire. The publishing firm Meyer and Genau Inc. Two companies one is Paker Publishing LLC in September 2020 used by Meghan for her children's book The Bench Writes. However, Harry's company Orinoco refers to his late mother's favorite songs. In an interview for the 2017 ITV documentary Diana, Our Mother, Her Life and Legacy, the Duke recalled a fond memory of sitting in the passenger seat while his mother drove her BMW with the top down, listening to popular 1980s artist tenure. One of her hits was called Orinoco Flow. Its chorus includes the repeated refrain Sail Away, and one line even mentions his new home of California in the line, From Bali to Cali, far beneath the Coral Sea. One of the company's names is Cloverdale Incorporated which recalls the name of the street Meghan grew up in. The Duke and Duchess companies are set up to hold the trademarks for their foundation, Archul. Apart from these 11 companies, the couple has already signed a £100 million deal with Netflix and another £18 million deal with Spotify in December 2020. The couple had moved to the US in search for a better life but they have been told that they may never find it. Royal biographer Duncan Larkham, while speaking to Closer, speculated that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could return to the UK even after establishing their life in the US.